You know, it's not a matter of how bad you want to draw this map. It's, you know, can you do it right? Uh, I think the, the legislature demonstrated that they really messed this up. Uh, and the trail of evidence isn't pretty. Uh, and, and so suffice it to say that if this were to change again, the state of Texas will have to ask itself one more time, do we bypass the DOJ or do we go directly uh, to the D.C. court? I think... I think the D.C. courts have, an, have had enough of Texas political people. that They don't want anything to do with us anymore. And, and, and while I think that there'll be people hell-bent on, on, you know, waging this war again in 2013, I think people need to look at the state of our public education system, the state of our public health system, and, you know, recognize that there's only so many times we can raise tuition on college students, you know, to, to balance a budget. Um, and I think we should work on those real problems. And, and, you know, I think the voters and the taxpayers have had enough politics. Uh, you know, I think that's probably why we do this every 10 years. It takes <laughs> 10 years to get over it, you know, and just when you get over it, you have to do it all over again. So. It's kind of ironic. I mean, you mentioned the, the D.C. court. It's ironic that going into this, everybody felt like the DOJ was going to be the backstop mm -hmm. the first time you had a Democratic administration, at least in terms of the, from the Democratic perspective, and that the court system turned has turned out to be just as much of a problem for you know, for for that ambition, for overreach, as as the DOJ would have been. I think that that the the men and women that serve on the district court for the District of Columbia are really at, at the you know they're the epitome of you know their judicial game. I mean, uh, these are great judges with great backgrounds. They don't have to play politics. They don't have to run for office, and they'll be there when you know when the Republicans control Congress. They'll be there when the Democrats control Congress. I think they're there to do a job. Uh, and they called it straight. You didn't see a lot of, you know, split decisions or, or you know, one judge, you know, disagreeing with another judge publicly. They were very professional, very methodical, uh, asked good questions. And, and I think that, you know, they recognized that whatever took place in the state of Texas wasn't proper. Uh, I think the ultimate, you know, the, the ultimate uh, uh, proof of that will be in their opinion or their order. Uh, but every step of the way, they've challenged, I mean, they, they, there was a motion for summary judgment, and that's pretty easy stuff. That's Civil Procedure 101, and you say the other side doesn't have a claim, you know, they, as a matter of law, they don't have a claim, so you should just decide as a matter of law. And that's what Texas did. And they said, you know, we win as a matter of law. There's nothing here that says that we did anything that violates Section 5, so just, you know, sign this order so we can move on. And the court usually says yes or no. And it's a pretty simple answer. It's yes or no. But this court went a little further. In a four-page opinion, they said, you know, moreover, we question the standards and methodologies used by the state of Texas in arriving at the conclusion that they did not uh, retrogress. That was a pretty big hint, like, there's a problem here, Houston. Uh, and, uh, and like I said, I think that the trial is proof positive of that. And, and, and we will know, you know, in a matter of days or weeks, uh, you know, what they really think of us. And, and, um, and that may require a change of the map once again.